Thank you, Mike. In tonight's showbiz report, the series Emily in Paris for you rom-com fans and the drama The Boys in the Band. Two Netflix originals and Maddie the Movie Guy tells you which one you should spend your weekend with. Hello, movie buffs. Two new Netflix originals. Let's begin by visiting Emily in Paris. Bonjour, you guys. Pardon my French, but I just can't stop speaking the romance language for the sweet and charming rom-com from the creative mind of Darren Starr, who gave us Sex in the City and Younger, among others. I'd always had an idea about doing a show about an American in Paris having that expatriate experience living and working there. Emily Cooper. He is blessed to have Lily Collins as Emily, his American in Paris. Like the ingenue days of Audrey Hepburn and Sabrina, we follow the ups and downs of her adventure in Paris because of her wide-eyed charm. I just found her to be lovable. This 10-episode series is an easy binge watch. That goes down smoothly like a fine wine. It's quite refreshing. Bart Devil wears Prada with an Emily twist. Say we to Emily in Paris. Merci. And for that, Emily in Paris gets three and a half out of four. I can't wait for season two. Kisses. Yes, I watch you. I see you. That's a big deal for me. That was the sweet director of The Boys in the Band, who, to my surprise, lives in Palm Springs. Joe Mantello remade a seminal LGBTQ work of art that is a snapshot of the way it was before the Stonewall Riots. <laughs> this was first an original 1968 play from Mark Crowley that became a William Friedkin film in 1970. Ryan Murphy revived the play on Broadway in 2018, featuring all-out gay actors, and those same players appeared in this biting and heartfelt 50th anniversary version. Emory, no. Set in 1968 in New York City, the plot revolves around the birthday of Harold, played with with much gusto by Zachary Quinto. He is matched wit by wit by the host of the party, Michael, played by Jim Parsons. It's just about being a human being and, and, and finding love. The film has the same tenacity as Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. It is full of powerful passion and emotion with smart quips to get you going. I mean, somebody like me can now be on TV in the news, no less. <laughs> yeah, so, we're glad you are. And for that, the boys in the band gets three and a half out of four, the way we were, kisses. I'm Manny the Movie Guy, stream them now on Netflix.